It looks interesting. Good morning. Hey there. You should now in the kitchen. You can use. You in the other people's face. Wear the clothes properly. Here the meat really smells good. Like a pig. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Say that I dress like a tramp and I rise as only fit for pigs. No, it could be worse. You should meet Mum. <laughs> if she wouldn't drag you home to marry a guy you barely knew. What? That's why she's here with Chow, this guy I've been betrothed to since I was six. Get out. I wish I could, but no. I'm supposed to spend my days working tirelessly for the health of my province, and my evening is cooking dinner for Chow. But uh, what about Norman? Have you seen him this morning? Ah, uh, yeah, he was leaving when I got up. He didn't look very happy. My mum doesn't know about him yet, so Norman's pressuring me to tell her. Charles pressuring me to dump Norman. What am I going to do? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? You've got to tell your mum you're marrying Norman. You do still want to marry? Yeah, him. of course I do. But the fact is, when I got chosen to come over here to study, I knew that marrying Charles was part of the deal. I mean, surely you know your parents. They'll, they'll realise how much you've changed. They want to give me a good slap. They'll point to Chow. He studied in Boston, and he went home. He's the pride of the village. So there you go. You put all of that together. You know why Chris hates Don? Because he's a cheating, lying, murdering thief. <sighs> Look, Bernadette. I know that you've convinced yourself that Avril's dead. She has to be. It's been too long. What other answer is there? All I'm trying to say is that you've got to keep your cool. You put one foot wrong, Dom will have you out of Shortland Street in a heartbeat. And then what chance have you got finding any evidence? I've given up thinking there's anything else to find. I should have gone straight to the media about those dodgy ops. Well, what good would that have done? Dom's pretty good at covering his tracks. Don't I know it? Look, he's going to make a mistake one day. Chris is on his back. The cops are on Evel's case. Chances are somebody's bound to make a breakthrough. When? I can't wait around for that to happen. What do you mean? I've been hanging around his place. You know, opening his mail, watching him. Turn it dead. You're going to get yourself into trouble. I'm getting to him. I know I am. This isn't like Fiji at all, is it? Mm, you must call for boob jobs up there. Maybe there might be one day. They ever have any money? I wonder. We do some good work, though. A team to be reckoned with, you and I. And we met some great people. <laughs> If we ever want to go back, we've got dinner invitations a mile long. And not just the patients, you know, the other volunteers as well. Hmm. Suction. I wonder what Mark Weston's doing now. No idea. Why? Oh, no reason. That's just. That whole world seems so far away now. Yeah, I know. Uh, Charlie Tooth. What's it? Thanks. No problem. Shift requests for the next roster. Thank you. Leave them with me. And tell Tony and Tanya I'm still waiting on theirs. Um, Judy. Mhm. Mm have you ever worked with the rotating roster system? It's just that I have, and it's really helpful for planning appointments and stuff way ahead of time. That's what these shift requests are for. People get five a month. How many more do you need? And Laura and this guy. I just thought I'd ask for everyone. I'll thank you not to lobby the nurses about that roster business. I've already made my decision very clear. I know. I haven't said a thing. Oh, so Lauren just approached me off her own bat, did she? Yes. Nonsense. If the nurses are talking about it, just goes to prove Look, how popular. Look, if I hear another word about those blasted rosters, I will give everybody something to complain about. So you just go and spread that as quick as you can. Hey, mind if I join? Please do. Oh, that looks good. My favourite. You like Western food? You should have seen me after four years in Boston. <laughs> wow, four years, eh? Prepared to be an American. Uh, in some ways, mm, same way Lee Mae's practically a Kiwi. She's changed, mate. Surely you can see that. I also see it as time for her to come back to China and be my wife. Why would you want her to do that when you know she loves someone else? Would it be much fun for you? She'd get over you. Nah, she's tried a couple of times already. Hasn't worked. She's stuck with me. Let me explain something to you. Lee Mae owes the village a great debt. 
wasn't she supposed to repay that by marrying you? She would have married me anyway. That was decided nearly 20 years ago. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. As a girl, she was privileged to be chosen for education and travel. If she refuses to come back now as she promised, her father must repay her debt. Do you know how many thousands of your dolls we're talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's expensive, but... Impossibly expensive for a family like hers. The burden of repayment along with the grave dishonor would probably kill her father. He's a good man. Do you want that to happen? You're a real perfectionist, aren't you? I know, I ran over time. Anyone else would have been happy with the first result. Oh, which is why my patients come to me. They want the best. <laughs> Okay, can you? Yep, here you go. Thank you. Oh dear, we're in a bit of a tangle. <laughs> Story of my life. Something you want to talk about? No, it's nothing you don't already know. Post holiday blues. Yeah, something like that. Whoa. Chris, we need you in recovery. Yeah, uh, right there. 